the legendary Irving Blum mm. and his amazing Ferris Gallery. Mm. But how did that all happen? I came from New York to mm. LA at the end of 1957 with the express purpose of doing a gallery. And I liked what I saw at Ferris, a little chaotic, but I liked it. limited amount of money to spend and Walter said Ed Keynote wants to go back to the studio to make art and I told him I was interested in acquiring his share of the gallery and uh, I said what sort of money are we talking about and he said $500 and I told that story to a friend who said to me you overpaid <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the art scene in Los Angeles. In 1963, there was a wave in the pop style. There were no precedents for this look to all of a sudden encounter full blown the pop idiom was shocking. And by 1963, there were 300 pop artists. And somehow you had to select. Yes. And my initial selection of Roy and Andy proved to be prophetic. When did you meet Roy then? Um, I went to visit Leo Castelli. Hmm. And as I walked into the gallery, Ivan Cart, who worked for Leo, handed me a little view box, and there were cartoons. Mm -hmm. And I said, Andy Warhol, thinking he'd progressed. Mm -hmm. And Ivan said, no, a young guy by the name of Lichtenstein, and a, a bell went off. Mm -hmm. And I said to Ivan, I would like to show this young painter in California. Mm -hmm. Roy was happy to do an exhibition in California. I received a group of paintings, opened the crate, pulled one painting out, Crying Girl, Masterpiece. Pulled the second painting out, Sleeping Girl, another masterpiece. And as I pulled the second painting out of the crate, like a vision, B. Gersh, <laughs> standing <laughs> at she, the doorway. She was there? She was there. She said, I must have it. I simply must have it. My idea was to keep those two paintings for myself. Sure. Of course. <laughs> I was glad B bought it, but I was sorry to have lost it. <laughs> Andy reacted very strongly to Lichtenstein's cartoons and made decisions about his own art. Exactly. Andy said uh, he'd been to Leo's gallery and Ivan Carr showed him uh, transparencies of a young man. He's doing cartoons and doing them much better than Andy thought he was doing his. And Andy said, in any case, I'm doing these now. I don't know if Roy ever knew it, but he was responsible for Andy painting the soup cans. Your big clients were the Gershers, yes, Jans, uh, Ed Jans, uh, uh, Ed Jans, Hopper, uh, Hopper, Dennis Hopper, Don Factor, Don Factor, Betty Asher, and Betty Asher. That was the opening of your gallery evening, I'm probably. Yes. Yeah. But I love your invitations that you, that you used to make for your gallery. Oh, they were um, mostly Dennis's photographs. They're terrific. The end of my run at Ferris was in the early 70s, and I stayed with Andy and Roy right to the end. You must have talked to him about these series of pictures, these girl pictures. Did he say anything to you? I remember the end of one conversation. He said, Irving, he said, they interest me. You love girls. 